how to set up google analytics for beginners hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing amazing so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can set up google analytics as a beginner and what are the simple procedures that you have to do and what are some tips what are the tricks to uh, you know get moving and everything so without any delay let's get to the video so first of all obviously you have to open analytics.google.com onto your web browser and this is the site you'll be graded to so google analytics is basically a tool which gives you the free tool which gives you all of the options and features that you need to analyze the data for your business in one place so if you have a business or an on shopify it is on google businesses or it's a you know wix store or a website on your wordpress or anything uh, anywhere that you have any kind of business you can uh, get all the data on with google analytics and you can basically merge those two websites onto google analytics and you can start have all the traffic data all the people purchases all the uh, you know incoming and outcoming on google analytics really easily and you can basically have a, an eye on everything in one place you don't have to basically go on to each website and go into their analytics one by one and see what's happening and then rationalize what is happening to your whole business as a whole but you have to come here but on google analytics you just come here and you see everything already done for you you can just keep an eye on everything and so that you can make smarter decisions as it says so uh first of all after opening the website there's an option which says start measuring so you have to basically click on that the process will start off you know you have to add your account so your account name accounts can contain more than one tracking id so my account name is let's say um this one and the next uh, account data sharing settings you have the data sharing options give you more control over sharing your google analytics data google products and services if you have enabled google you just click on that the benchmarking contribute anonymous data to in aggregate data set to enable features like benchmarking publications technical support and account specialists so these are all the options options uh, about the data sharing options that you have you can just check in or check out of each one of them and then you can create uh, click on the button which says next after that you have to basically create a google analytic for property to measure your web or web data so as a property name you can add in anything it can be your website so i'm just going to add in the picky eaters and then i'm going to basically report a time zone so you have to change the time zone according to your own country so i'm in pakistan right now so i'm just going to click on pakistan i'm going to find it and my time zone is okay and then you have to change your currency if you want to change your currency if i want to change my currency to uh, rupees then i can just come here and find a pakistani rupee and this is my currency c will be changed but i'm going to keep it in us dollars because um you know i work as a freelancer and i just go with you know us dollars as well i'm just going to click on the next so now help us tailor your experience by answering the following questions industry category what kind of industry you are in so now i'm just going to go with let's say food or food and drink okay the next thing is how much is your business size like it's small medium large or very large i'm going to with small and you can uh, choose the one that you have and then how do you intend to use google analytics with your business by your customer engagement optimize my site or app experience by your data across multiple devices or platforms optimize optimize my data advertising increase my conversions analyze my online sales my your app installs i don't have an app my your content monetization i don't have that my your lead generation and okay so that's it i'm just going to click on the create option and now google analytics uh marketing platform uh you have to basically first accept the terms and services of our agreement i'm just going to click on my country here too i'm going to add it and okay good to go and then i have to go down and see all the terms and conditions that you can go through them briefly or thoroughly and i'm just going to click on i accept after basically logging in and uh, everything is completed now you can see this is my account this is amina fees and amina fees is created picky eaters and this is basically uh, my properties and apps and now you can create a new property for yourself and here you can see there are some options for picky eaters it has a setup assistant it has property settings property access management data streams data settings data import reporting identity attribution settings and property change history and the product links are google ad links and as you can see these are all the other links that are available for me and now if i come here this is basically home and i have reports i have explore i have advertising and i have configure so if i want to have my reports i'll just click on this here and then i'll have the reports of uh, everything uh, from you know a life cycle acquisition engagement monetization retention these are 
here everything that is available in the life cycle subheading and as you can see this is a report snapshot but i don't have any reports right now because um this is uh, this is a website which haven't been used uh, the, there are zero users there are zero new users average engagement time is zero and total revenue is also zero so i don't have any engagements or anything but this is here where you can see, you you know view your whole report and everything in the engagement section you can come here and have your events conversions switches and screens and have it you know listed and everything and if i go into home once again and i can just see that this is basically if i want to check my advertising i can just come here and check my advertising from here i just went on home and now i can start collecting data for your website or app so how do you want to collect your data and how to get tagging information environment id or sdk installation instructions so there are three things that are available there is web android app and ios app so i'm just going with web and in the web section now i want to basically add the url of my website that i have and then i have to add my stream name which is my the name of my website and then i can create a stream i can enhance for enhanced measurement i have measuring page views scrolls and outbound like clicks and there are four more so i'm just going on to my um, you know my wordpress website and i'm just going to basically uh, visit the site i'm just going to uh, you know have the url and then i will just post that url into my analytics so i'm just going to copy and i'm going back into my analytics i'm going to um, paste it here and my the name of my website is mock site because that's what i named it or i can also name it picky or anything and i'm going to create the stream okay guys so my my data stream has been created now i can do a lot of stuff from here i can configure tag setting manage connected site tags and view tag instructions and in the tag instructions i have no data received and i can basically modify events create custom events and measurement protocol api secrets so these are all the things that are available after making my you know stream and my basically after adding my website details so i'm just going to view on some tag instructions that are available for me okay so now you have to come here on this basically uh, this is configure tag settings and manage connected site tags and view tag instructions i'm just going to click here which is configure tag settings as as you can see there are some welcome to your tag and uh, etc etc so I'm just going to go back and i'm going to basically come here which says view tag instructions and click on this one and now basically you have you can install a, with the website builder you can have your install your google tag or you can just install it manually when you click here here you get a code this kind of code so you can basically copy it and add it in wherever you want to add this as a tag so i'm just going on to my wordpress website and here i'm going to add a plugin so i go on and add a new plugin in the search plugins find hmcf okay so after adding hfcm here you'll find out plugin which is named header footer code manager and you're basically need you to i need you to install it and it is by 99 robots you have to basically see it uh, make sure that it is the one that is by 99 uh, robots and then you need to activate it so after activation here you can see that when you come down here you'll find your header footer code manager so you basically need to go on to the settings of this and then you can uh, you have to add a snippet so there is an option of adding a new snippet click on that okay so in the snippet you have to basically add the snippet name let's say this is google analytics and the next thing is basically snippet name you have to basically tell what kind of uh, code that you're using whatever language it is it is i'm going to add a javascript and then you need to add a site display so you have to site wide specific post if you want to add the tag to specific post and pages you can just click on it and if you want to add it site wide it will automatically add it to every site that you create on your wordpress and everything in every page and everything so you'll be good to go and the location location is header and then you have to basically the status is active and copy this whole code like this copy and you have to come here and you have to paste it and this is good to go and now you can basically come on here and save it this this is it you added the google tag in it and you are good to go so a new wordpress update is available please update from your pantheon dash okay so this is good my web stream is now uploading the new google code and you are great so you need you can update it from here if you want to but this is good uh, basically the tag is has been created and uploaded so i'm just going on to go back now so to add now you can uh, you need to add a google tag manager so for that what you need to do is basically you have to go on to your you know chrome web store and then you are going to search for tag manager 
and okay and now you need to basically you have tag manager assistant google tag manager blocker and etc etc you can just go with tag manager assistant and you can have it installed as an extension and add to chrome add extension and voila guys that extension has been added tag manager assistant has been added to chrome this icon will be visible when the extension can act on the current page manager extensions by clicking okay tools menu you have to basically turn this on and it will work whenever you know it needs work and you know you're on a page where it needs to be tagged and everything so this is how you can easily set up your google analytics it is very easy and i hope you found every step you know an easy and understandable if there is something that you need to uh, you know reassure if you're confused if you have a query about something you can just comment it in the comment section and i will try to get back to you guys and this is uh, it for today's video i hope you found it uh, informative enough and please give this a big thumbs up see you in the next video take care bye bye